falling off the wagon now, are we? Jonah, answer the bloody phone. And I thought I had a bad alcohol tolerance. Go easy on me, won't you? I'm a little rusty. Four years sober would do that to you. You ran away from home because you're a spineless coward. <laughs> I ran away because I had something to run away from. So did I. <laughs> and what's that? Basic human decency? How about getting your mother killed? I'm just glad mom wasn't here to watch you grow up into the fuck up you turned out to be. I can't remember the last time you didn't come to me with a problem that's just between you and Simon. He said something about me too. There's no us to talk about. We're just friends, and he knows it. Are we just friends? You told her that if she's ready to leave Simon, it'll be like you never met me. I have a problem. We'll get through it together. Man. Tressor and Ezra broke off their engagement. What? Okay. No way! Quit being a tease and tell us what is My it. My own phone! What? Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Don't thank me. This was all Ezra. It's from both of us. Thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> this really isn't fair. You're very it's welcome. It's nothing fancy. I didn't have a phone when I was her age. That's because we didn't meet Ezra until you were 13. What are you doing? I was watching that. Yeah, you were, and you have been, on repeat. But now you have to get dressed, or we're going to be late. I already told you guys I'm not going to that. Yes, you are. Raven won't want me there. I already talked to Raven and cleared things up with her. She doesn't mind. So you're going. Because we're not spending a Christmas without you. Then we could... I don't know, we could all stay in and watch our old Christmas videos together. That's... Not the way to spend the most wonderful time of the year. How about you name one thing that was wonderful about this year? I'm standing right here. That's right! It's the first Christmas in 15 years with all four of us together. And that's worth celebrating if you ask me. You're telling me that you think Jonah, of all people, being here for Christmas is something worth celebrating? That's right. Seriously? Yep. You heard it first. Noah and I are now best bros. The bestest of bros. It's a Christmas miracle! Okay, fine. If you two care enough to do whatever that was, I I guess I can bring myself to join you three at the Simons. Yay! <laughs> Let's pick you out something Christmassy to wear. Get your arm off me. All right, all right. Okay, open your eyes. What do you think? It's nice. Only the best for you. Merry Christmas. I'm going to help Eileen set up. You coming? I'll be there in a second. All right.
Merry Christmas, you filthy animals! Hi. Hey. You're waiting for someone, too? Who are you waiting for? Bells. She should have been here an hour ago. She'll be here. What about you? Faye? Seriously, you invited her to spend Christmas with you? And her brother, Benji. I can't believe you're still on that. Of course I'm still on that. It's only been three weeks. Three weeks is a long time. She could have met someone else. No, she couldn't have. Remind me again. How long did it take you two to get together? She'll be here. I've been texting her every day and- And that's your problem. She asks for space and what do you do? You text her day and night. You're lucky she hasn't blocked you. I'm fighting for her. It's thinking like this that makes me so grateful I'm gay. You know, ever since you started dating Bellamy- I know you know it's Bellamy. You've gotten a little mean. I'm just looking out for you. You're doing the most, and it's not a good look on you. You did it with Raven, and look where that got you. Now, I'm going to kiss my girlfriend, and when I'm done, I want you to leave your post and come say hi, okay? <laughs> you got it. You wore the shirt. I wasn't planning on wearing it. It's a hideous shirt, and couples who match make me want to scratch my eyes out. <laughs> Stop it. But on the drive here, I kept imagining how your face would light up if I did walk in wearing it, so I turned back around to get it. <sighs> well, shoot. If I had known you were doing all that, I would have put on a bit of a show to make it worth your while. It was. Bellamy, hi. Well, if it isn't the apple of my girlfriend's eye... Glad you're joining us for Christmas. Rain forgot to mention I'm not a hugger? She did, but I am one, so I don't really care. <laughs> Fair enough. What you doing? Ezra's gonna call me and wish me Merry Christmas, and I don't want to be distracted when he does. So, you gonna spend all Christmas Eve staring at your phone? You're in a room full of people who love you, and you're choosing to spend it focused on the one person who- Who what? Who doesn't love me? Not enough to be here with you. Just spare me the lecture, Simon. With a family name like his, and the shortage of interior architects in Stop town- it. He could have easily found another job, and you know this it! This is the first Christmas in ten years that I'm not spending with the love of my life. You really think this is the kind of thing that I want to hear? It's not about what you want to hear, it's about what you need to what hear. What I need is a friend. Simon. Come on, why don't you give me a hand with the bottles in the storage room? You think he's ever cared about Raven like he does Tresser and her damn engagement? Not this again. I'm just saying. Well, don't. You don't want to fall down that rabbit hole. But I just... I really thought she was going to leave him. I mean, I, I thought I got through to her. Well, he's overcompensating. He has been for like three weeks now. She must have a whole new wardrobe by now. That shouldn't be enough reason for her to stay. Some people stay for far less. Trust me, I should know. I was her once. Seriously? Well into my late teens. How'd you get out of it? A fractured skull and two broken ribs. Well, Jesus Christ! I, I... I am so sorry. Oh my <sighs> gosh. It was a long time ago. I've learned from it. And it's behind me now. 
point is, Simon's not the best, but she could do a lot worse. And I think she knows it because she has done a lot worse. Just something to think about. What can I get you, Jonah? Oh, I... Um... Yeah, all right, since everyone I kind of care about is gathered here anyway, I guess it's better now, to, now than ever to announce this. <clears throat> uh, hi. I am a recovering alcoholic. I drank heavily after leaving home for a good, uh, two, uh, ten years. And uh, well, around that time, I wasn't really interested in sobering up or, you know, I wasn't exactly working towards it. Eventually, though, uh, with the help of a friend I met at an AA meeting, I managed to stay sober for three years. But then I came here, and the week after the shooting, I sort of fell off the wagon. When I offered you the drink... Which I accepted, so it, it was all me. This was a night we fought, wasn't it? You had just broken your sobriety. Well, yes, but that, that doesn't really excuse the way that I handled things with you. Anyway... Uh, it's been a struggle since then. Um, I'll admit, I've had a couple of bad slip-ups here and there. Uh, Raven has been helping me a lot by keeping me in check. And, uh, with her help, I haven't had anything to drink in... It'll be a month and two days. Right. But yeah, I wanted things to be out in the open, and I can go into the new year clean as a whistle and hopefully stay that way i'll drink to that <laughs> all right proud of you standing on the stool though kind of begging for attention if you ask that me. was the whole point i i wanted everyone's attention and have you seen what you're wearing? <laughs> oh, this little piece? It's just a little something something I put together. I wasn't expecting that. The whole Jonah thing? He has it under control, so you don't have to worry about it, okay? How come you didn't tell anyone about it? Jonah wanted to wait until he was ready before he broke the news to you guys himself. Besides, it was a week after the shooting and you were just beaten up. Everyone kept having shit to deal with, so... I didn't want you guys to have Jonah to worry about, too. That's pretty cool of you. This explains why he was spending all of his time here. It started out that way, yeah. And I'll deny I ever said this if he asks, but he's actually a decent guy. I think you just need to start looking at him for the guy he is today instead of the scared 18-year-old kid he was 15 years ago. And don't get me wrong, the guy he is today is far from perfect. Very flawed, trust me. But if you're going to dislike him today, you're going to have to actually get to know who he is first, you know? Then you can decide for sure. If you still think he's a dick, then by all means, go for it. But at least then you'd have a firmer grounds to stand on. You came! Yeah. This is the first Christmas without Dad, and the house was way too depressing, so... She figured spending it in a bar full of his murderous children is way less depressing. Uh, Benji's not too big on the idea. We flipped a coin. Ah. Well, we're still glad to have you here. I'm sorry, he's not exactly over the whole your dad, our dad debacle. More like what happened between the two of us and Raven. 
that too. I don't really blame him. Hell, I'd judge him if he wasn't giving me any attitude. If anybody treated my sisters the same way I treated you, I'd be the same way. How is your sister, with the whole engagement on hold thing? It's been pretty tough, but I think she's slowly getting over it. I mean, I managed to get her out of the house. Oh, she's here? In a corner, staring at her phone. But at least she's surrounded by people who care about her on Christmas. And you do not want to hear what I had to do to make it happen. What did you have to do? Well, we wanted to convince her that we were like this picture perfect family, you know? To get her to want to celebrate Christmas. Right. And then Jonah decided to improvise. Oh no. <laughs> Raven? You got a minute? Hey. Hey. Sorry, I, I meant to call sooner. No, it's... It's okay. It's good to hear your voice. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I was actually kind of dragged out of the house by the family. Everyone's been getting along great. That's, that's good. I'm glad you're with each other. And you? Are you okay? I'll be fine. It's just one of those days I was more worried about spending without you and the family. I just needed to pass. Yeah. <laughs> I'll... I'll leave you to it. Send my wishes to the family. I will. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Why did you drag me all the way up here? I got you something for Christmas. We agreed we weren't going to get anything. Mm -mm, no, you agreed. <sighs> Jonah. Close your eyes. If you got me anything expensive, Jonah, I swear to God. Just do it. Uh, okay, open them. What's this? A replacement birth certificate. I called in a favor with Sheriff Shelby. We ran your fingerprints and... I don't know if you've had one. No. Before. Okay. Uh, I just I just thought that... Uh, that you might want to have it. Not to find out about your birth parents or anything like that. Because, I mean, fuck those people. But just... You know, your your real name and, uh, well, the one you were given. Or or your real birthday. And it, zodiac sign, a Leo. Well, now that we needed a piece of paper to tell us that, am I right? I'm sorry. I should have asked if you wanted to find out any of this. Um... I just, I just know that you've been feeling lost lately, so I, well, I thought this would help, you know, clarify some things for you. But I'm, I uh, clearly misstep. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> but if you ever tell anyone my real name's Virginia, I, I would kill you. I wouldn't dare. There you are. 
What are you doing out here in the cold? I needed a minute alone. Everything okay? Yeah, it, it's just... Seeing you together with your family like that, it sort of triggered something in me. Like what? Nothing. It, it's stupid. Belle. Alright, uh... The truth is, I haven't exactly been honest with you. About my family, I, I mean. It's not that we don't celebrate Christmas. I don't know if they do celebrate it. I just know I'm not a part of it. Why not? I got kicked out when I was 17. Why? For coming out as gay. The worst part is that I stuck by them. Well, they both struggled with addiction and I never even complained. I was happy to do it because, because I was holding on to this image I had of this perfect family, you know, and so I stuck by them. And then they recovered. And when I came out, I don't know, I guess it was a lot of me to expect them to love me unconditionally back. I'm sorry. I don't even miss them as people. If anything, I just miss the image I had in my head. And when I saw you and your family, being there for your sister, it just made me feel alone, I guess. I know your family is far from perfect. But, at least you've got each other. Well, you got us too. Your family doesn't even like me. Yes, they do. Whether you choose to believe it or not, my family is your family now, Belle. Because I love you. Unconditionally. You're not alone. Not anymore, okay? Can I have this dance? <sighs> Can you be any cheesier? Yes, you may. This is nice, isn't it? Yeah, your sister and her girlfriend are really talented. No, I'm talking about this. Us. No us talk, remember? Yeah, I know, but... You can't tell me you're not feeling anything. I feel like you're pushing it. You're leading me somewhere. I don't know what you're talking about. Noah. Oh, would you look at that? I guess we somehow ended up under a mistletoe. You're such an idiot. You like it. Benji! We're leaving. Come on. Finally! Alright, alright. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll behave. It's getting late anyway. Come on, it's not even midnight. I promised Benji we'd only stay a couple of hours. I'm sorry.
I did have a good time though. So. Thank you for making the first Christmas without dad easier to go through. A good enough time for you to come back for New Year's? going to NA meetings ever since. Well, I think that's amazing. Good job. Your whole speech on Christmas, seeing you put yourself out there like that, it really made me feel like I don't need to be afraid to talk about it. So the next morning was the first time in three weeks of attending that I actually got up and said something. So I just wanted to say thanks. Oh, wow, that's, uh, uh, you're, uh, you're welcome. And if you ever need a sponsor... Uh, yeah, same here. Upstairs. What's this? You are going to write a letter to your ex-girlfriend. What? You're going to explain everything. Why you had to leave. And more importantly, you're going to apologize for leaving the way that you did. For ghosting her. And for giving her an explanation two months later than you should have. Are you drunk? I know you know where she lives because you live together. And we won't put a return address so it will be completely untraceable. You want me to write a letter? Without a return address, she can't really write you back so you don't have to worry about follow-up questions. Like with a text or an email. That's not my point. Then what is your point? This is just unnecessary. I'm sure she's already moved on by now. I know it's easier for you to live with yourself if you believe she's moved on, but I guarantee you, she hasn't. Not without an explanation. So this, this will give her closure. Yeah, I'm not doing this. I know you're a good guy, Jonah. Or at least you're trying to be. You can't tell me what you did to that girl isn't eating at your conscience. This could be your second chance. Ever thought that maybe I don't deserve a second chance? It's New Year's Eve. If there's any time to claim a new beginning for yourself, it's tonight. Starting with this letter. If you're not going to do it for yourself, then do it for me. It'll make being your friend a lot easier. <laughs> you know, your ability to make everything about yourself has to be some sort of talent. It's one of my many. Fine, I'll write the letter. But I'm only doing it for you. Sure. Okay. Here we go. Raven, 
Can I talk to you for a sec? Ugh. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just... Do they have to flaunt their love in all of our faces? Are you... a homophobe? God, no. I love the gays. It's just that on days like these, I hate all happy couples equally. You know, New Year's Eve, Valentine's Day, days practically made to make me feel shitty about having no one in my life. Ah, okay. And it's not like I'm a dependent person, you know? I mean, not usually. I never need a man in my life. And any other day, I'm perfectly fine when I haven't anyone to kiss. But on days like these, it just makes me feel shitty knowing I'm starting the year alone. <sighs> it's stupid, I know. Tell you what. If neither of us can find a better person to kiss by the time the ball drops, we'll be each other's New Year's Eve kiss. Are you serious? If it'll make you feel less shitty going into the new year, then I don't see why not. Alrighty then. You got yourself a deal. What's up? I just wanted to check up on you, you know? Anything new going on with you? Out with it, Noah. All right, all right. Are you and Jonah... <laughs> I'm gonna stop you right there. I haven't even said anything. I already anything. know where you're going with it. And no, we're not fooling around or anything. That's not enough. It's just, it didn't take us fooling around for me to fall in love with you. I just think you should set him straight while you're ahead. Send him a clear message on where you stand, because, well, with the whole alcoholism thing, it's... I'll set things straight. I promise. Thank you. Hey! Hey. Your brother isn't with you? He decided to spend it with friends, which I thought was a good call considering how last week went. Hey, Faye. <laughs> hey. I'm glad you could make it. <laughs> I want to show you something. Oh, okay. Okay, open your eyes. Oh my god. What do you think? This is amazing. I followed up on that Pinterest board you shared with me a month ago. I can tell. Is it as good as you imagined it? Even better. We should go inside. You can go inside if you want to. I'm staying here the rest of the night. Hey. Not again, Simon. Wait, wait, wait. I come in peace. Sheesh, if I had known all it took was a glass of wine to get you to smile, I would have done that weeks ago. <laughs> you know I own a bar, right? Sorry, I've been an asshole. It's okay. I know it's just really hard for you to see me like this. I can imagine I'd be just as frustrated if the tables were turned. Yeah, but you would have handled it better. Yeah. I definitely would have. <laughs> I'll do better starting this moment. Whatever you need. Yeah. 
Who is that? <sighs> Finally. Jonah, this is Nadia. Uh, hi. She's your date for tonight. My date? Merry Christmas. Yes, okay, awesome. Uh, a wonderful name, by the way. Uh, Ray, can I talk to you right now? What is this? I set you up on a date. Yeah, I can see that, but why? Because you haven't been late since you got here. She's one of my model friends. She was at a nearby bar when I sent a picture to this group chat I have with some of the models in the agency I work with, and voila! The best part is she just wants a one-night stand so you don't have to worry about any strings attached. Okay, but again, why... <laughs> why what? Why hook me up with one of your model friends? Did I send that sort of message? Can you stop reading into this? You scratched my back, I scratched yours. It's what friends are for. Why'd you put the emphasis on friends like that? I didn't. You totally did. You emphasized the word friends. D do you think I think of you as more than friends? No, no, no that, that's, that's not... Are you worried that I'm falling in love with you? <laughs> you know what? I was just trying to do something nice for you. I guess I should have known better. Lesson all learned. Right, all right. Thank you for helping me get off tonight, Virginia. I hate you. Hey, sorry about that. It's nice to meet you. What do you need? One beer, please. You got it. Who's that with Jonah? Ask Raven. She's in the storage room, probably avoiding Simon. Thanks. Okay, you're starting to get creepy. They're just so darn cute. And the only functional couple here, so... Like 
What do you do now here? Well, it's about to hit 12 and we had a deal, remember? And what about Nadia? If I remember correctly, the deal was if we didn't find a better person to kiss before the ball drops, and uh, that still stands. Besides, I wasn't going to let you start off the new year feeling shitty about yourself over missing out on the chance of kissing yours truly. Mm, are you done? Because I can't kiss you if you're going to keep sucking at your own dick like that. Hey, there's still a few minutes left until midnight. <laughs> Are you coming? It's almost 12. Um, in a minute. I'm expecting a call from Ezra. All right. We're all right outside if you need us. Noah thinks I'm peeing. Why? I needed a minute to think. He expects me to kiss him tonight. Do you want to kiss him? Yes. Then what's there to think about? Can I be honest? I'm scared I'm gonna end up like you. Oof. I know, I'm sorry, it's just your relationship with Simon, his friendship with Tresser, the way you're constantly worried he's going to leave you for her, this situation with the three of us, all of this is just, it's too familiar. And I was there the night he sided with Tresser. I've seen the way your situation has ruined you, and, and I know I wouldn't be able to handle it the way that you the have. The fact that you think you're to Noah what I am to Simon is proof that you don't know him at all. Noah's no Simon. When he loves you, he's going to love you with everything that he's got. You're going to be the only girl in the world to him, and it's going to be magical. If you're trying to convince me you don't have feelings for Noah, you're not doing a great job. I don't love Noah. I love being loved by him. That's not the same thing. And he deserves I've already that. heard this before. And now I'm telling you it's sober. I'm done. For real this time. And so is he. I just don't want to start something that would end in chaos. But you're tearing down the possibility of you two together before even giving it a proper chance because you've chosen to equate whatever relationship the two of you could have to a relationship you hardly know anything about. If you really want to avoid turning out like me, then don't miss out on something great because you're afraid of taking a chance. Good heart. 
pretend we are free.